Hey everyone, Dan here at Fanatic, and today I've brought you in to show you something that's been a long time in the making, and that's the new Onyx Vesper Hub. Now, you've probably heard about or seen the video about the previous generation Onyx Hub. This is one of the only completely silent hubs on the market, and it uses a unique engagement system that uses sprags instead of any sort of ratcheting mechanism. Now, what that allows for is instantaneous engagement at a moment's notice, the second you put any pressure on the pedals, and no noise at all. Not only no noise, but no feedback coming through your bike, up through your pedals and your grips. So it's a pretty cool sensation. You, the only thing you can really hear is your tires on the ground, and it's pretty cool. Now, real quick, what sprags are, you can probably see them in here, is a series of cams in a row around an inner race, which you can see here, this is the previous driver design and an outer race, which is actually the hub shell itself, that blue part on the inside. Now, when you put pedal power down on the pedals, it shifts all those cams and they wedge and expand up and down onto the inner and outer races and allow you to transfer power. The other direction, they kind of shift slightly the other direction and freewheel really smoothly with almost no resistance. Now, this is one of my favorite hubs of all time. I'll link to the previous video where I talk about the history of the company for the reasons I've described, but my one issue with it was that it's very, very heavy. All these little steel sprags and the steel in a race make it a pretty hefty design. If you've watched our Zero Tanifa video, you'll know that unsprung weight, and that's weight that's not hanging on your suspension, really detracts from the performance of your suspension. With the new hub design here, you can see compared to the old one, they've done a ton to slim down the profile of the hub shell itself. You can see this much thinner design here on the non-drive side as well as machine out a ton of material from the hub flanges, both drive side and non-drive side. Even things like the brake rotor mounts are slightly smaller. They've also used slightly thinner sprags. It's still two in series, two rows in series, which you can probably see in there. But this has all resulted in a lot of weight savings. The last thing they did was slim down the driver mechanism, or the inner race rather. Now, instead of attaching the, the splines, the HG or XD or micro spline driver to the inner race, they've kind of separated them and now the driver interfaces with the inner race via these splines, which you can see right here. So, all of this has resulted in a ton of weight savings. Another few things they've done is instead of stocking ceramic bearings, as they did on the previous generation, they now stock a really high quality steel bearing. They use a dual lipped, double lipped outer seal on the bearing and a single lip on the inside that helps with just wear and tear from the elements getting into the hub. And it's all resulted in a pretty sweet looking hub, the new Vesper. One thing I did want to do is weigh this real quick because a lot of you are probably curious as to what it weighs in at. This is the Boost rear hub, the Vesper is 401 grams versus the previous generation which is weighing in at 508 grams. So you're saving almost uh, or over 100 grams rather, which is pretty cool. Like I said, that's all unsprung weight. Now these are in stock. We've got a whole bunch of different colors, front and rear. They're loaded up into our bike builder. So you can run through, pick your hub, pick your spokes, different color spokes, any rim that you want. We carry a huge variety of alloy and carbon rims. So we're going to be doing a new video on the, or a video on the new We Are One Revolution rims. So keep an eye out for that. And you can even get your tires on there. We'll set them up tubeless, ship them to your door. You can throw them on your bike straight out the box. If you have any questions about any of these hubs, please let us know in the comments below. If you like watching these videos, please, please subscribe to our channel. We really like making them and showing you all this cool stuff that comes through our doors. Until next time, thanks for watching.